Hello, we wanted to quickly show you a mobile application running on an Android smartphone. This application actually runs across platforms, so it'll run on, the, uh, on a BlackBerry smartphone, or indeed it'll run on an iPhone as well. This is using the, uh, the new MapQuest mobile API. Um, it's written in Adobe Air. Um, we've, put, we've put a lot of functionality in here, so we'll just walk through it. So we've, we've included a map. That is a fully interactive map. You can zoom in, zoom out. It actually you can include a pointer there, which shows us the current location. So that's uh, that's geolocation. So it's using the GPS on the device. Let's go back. Um, we've included a number of different things, as I've said, using that API. We've got directions. So we've actually pre preset a from and a to here. We could actually put multiple twos in this. Um, so when we do get root. We, we've, we've actually left the mark of where we are currently, but it shows you the route from one, one marker to the next, from start to a finish. We can actually make an optimized route as well, so the most efficient route to get from A to B. Um, let's go all the way back to the beginning. We have included also a search app as well, or search view. Um, basically, a bit of a complicated interface, but this allows people to search by either lat long in the bottom box, or indeed by an address, and in this case we've set it to a certain number of results and a certain distance from a particular address. And if we do a search by address, um, we should see. Uh, let's just hit that button again. We'll see it load, and there's the, the, there's there's an actual uh, radius uh, radius that we've we've set or a circle we've set for our search. Um, there's our, where we are currently, and that green marker there is is a point uh, which shows the uh, which shows the uh, point of origin. And if we if we hit any of these buttons, we would actually get a pop up that talks about what that point is. In this case, it's Hotel Monaco. So it's a search around that particular place for venues. Um, let's go back again. We have a geocoder on here as well. A geocoder which is which is simply allows you to add an address and it'll place a marker on the map and zoom to that address. Um, we've got a check-in option which will allow users to check in a particular place. So in this case we've added on the screen the name of the user, the ID of the user, if they're checking into a particular address or if they're checking in a by lat long. So in the address case we've actually allowed the person to type in the address. This could be a search using um, the MapQuest API or indeed um, something like Simple Geo where it comes back with a list of venues and you could select one. If you hit the button it will physically um, check that person in to that location and that could be stored on the server or would be stored on the server. Um, the last one is data. We wanted to allow people to add data to the application so if you're on site, if you wanted to record imagery or text information you can collect that. Um, again this could be done um, by, this could be saved by lat long or by an address, but we can actually do a fine images for example, um, and we can we can get onto the camera's images and let's just choose one of the images there. Um, we've selected the image. You can see the name of it there. We can go back and you can see the image is selected here, um, and then we could add that as a check in to, to our uh, application. So we could hit complete and the data is stored. So any text we added, any imagery we added, any data we wanted to collect at that particular location we've stored, timestamp um, and lat long. So it's a uh, pretty comprehensive check-in and, and routing application um, that would allow people in the field to do a multitude of different, of different things. Thank you for watching.